What's up, world? Lee here, coming to you with sticks, strings, and other things, my tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week and discuss all the fun, crafty things that I've been getting my hands into. This is episode 16. Yes, episode 16, and today is, well, it's May. It's, it's May uh, 11th, and this will be going up on the 12th. I think those are the right dates. If they're not, I'll, I'll pop something in somewhere saying the right ones because, yeah. You'll notice I am back in my craft room today. And that is because I have taken this opportunity while the kid is out climbing to run in here and film really fast. Now we get to see if I uh, prepped well enough. <laughs> we'll find out together, won't we? Anyhow, again, I am Lee and this is my little corner. I am coming to you from a very beautiful and sunny Pacific Northwest. It is gorgeous, a little on the chilly side, but it is absolutely beautiful out. It was also beautiful out yesterday. I'm very much enjoying all the sunshine right now. So I will, uh, once I have this all filmed and edited and uploading, I will be on my back porch enjoying my life and knitting most likely. That's my plan at least. What about you guys? What's your plan today? I ask as if I can actually hear you respond, but I can't actually hear you. But if you want to tell me what your plans are, I'd love to know. So if you have subscribed and you are here, thank you very much for joining me again. If you are new, I have no clue how you found me, but I'm very glad you did and I hope you stick around. And if you enjoy this, hit the subscribe button. I'll be here every other week. I hope you can join me. Hang out. It's a nice little, 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 little cozy, happy little chit chat. So, I'm here to discuss what I've done in the past two weeks. Well, first, I think I'm going to drink some tea, because I'm in my craft room. I can actually grab it again. This is um, something that smells absolutely delicious. It was a little sample I got from somewhere, and I don't remember where, but it was called Dark Chocolate Cookie. And yes, it smells exactly like a dark chocolate cookie. Dark chocolate cookie. It's black tea. Hmm. Pretty tasty. I like it. I'm happy. All right. I brought a couple past cross-stitch projects. I'm, I'm trying to gear myself up into um, maybe buying some some frames online and trying to frame some of these myself. I've, I've so seen others on, on the floss tube worlds who, who do this, this miraculous thing of finishing their finishes, displaying and finishing things. I'm fascinated by it. I really am. Don't know how you guys do it, but I've seen tutorials and all sorts of fun stuff. And so I'm going to show a couple things in hopes that uh, it will encourage me to maybe maybe try and purchase some some, some just frames and, 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 and do, do it myself. I need all the encouragement I can get people. I, I, I really would actually, I think, like to have some of these on the wall <laughs> or something. Anyway, let me show you, so, show you some of these. This was... Mm -hmm. Tranquility Mystery Sampler from I don't remember who the designer is and that might not be the right name um, but I know when I did it because the year is on it I finished this in 2010 <laughs> this is and I very much enjoyed it this was this was this is it and I very much enjoyed it oh, look how pretty that is it's on mm, probably a 28 maybe a 32 count fabric it is stitched in Vicki Clayton silks, that much I remember. And yes, it is over one. And I absolutely love it. There was another one that this same designer finished and did and... I don't remember the name of it. I have it somewhere and I have the silks for it and I was going to do it on the other side of this piece of fabric or the bottom or something like that. But isn't that just lovely? And I love stitching it over one and it's just, it's just delightful. But I couldn't tell you the name of it. I think it's Tranquility Mystery Sampler. I think. I remember nothing about who designed it or anything like that. The next one I have, which I thought was really sweet, I don't remember. Lottie Da, maybe? I don't remember. Obviously not ironed because what? <laughs> why would I iron anything? And this one was finished in 2011. And I just love that. I forget what it says, though. Oh yes, if all our troubles were hung on a line, you would take yours and I would take mine. And I just love this sweet little, little bird. 
I have one more. This was a <laughs> Blackbird Designs. I want to say berry basket, something like that. And yes, this is on like 28 count fabric over two with some sort of silk, I think. And I very much enjoyed it. It was finished in, I think this is 2015. Wow, I was still stitching in 2015. This must be one of the last things I did. But I very much enjoyed this. I just love the little baskets. I love the color. It has an alphabet. And then there's this guy by Ink Circles. The Cirque du Circles. Which, you know, isn't how you pronounce it, but whatevs. Do, do, do. And this is in probably another Vicki Clayton silk. I really enjoyed using her silks. And I loved this piece. I mean, how? How have I not framed this? Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing? I mean, how arrogant for me to be looking at my own stitching and going, holy crap, that's beautiful. But really, this is beautiful. <laughs> it is really the design. It is the design. I mean, when you have something with this much beauty and gorgeousness, I mean, look at that. What is this beautiful? How can, how can, how can a piece not just be, ha ha ha? So yeah, how do I not have this in a frame? How do I not have this on a wall? How, people? I mean, seriously, how? Anyway, those are my things from the past. Things from the drawer. <laughs> things from the drawer that really shouldn't be in the drawer. So yes, I'm trying to encourage myself that maybe, 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 if I shame myself enough, maybe I'll start finishing things and having these beautiful walls that you all have. And uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Need all the encouragement I can get. Anyhow, so that's that's the uh, the past, the shame from a drawer. So let's move on to what did I do in the past two weeks? Well, when it comes to cross stitch, I kind of made you guys a pinky promise of maybe, just maybe, I would stick to the two projects I was talking about and I would work on each one for a week. Well, it hasn't quite been a full week before. Anyway, the first one was my Blackbird Designs, which is hiding, which is living in this, this fun Paris bag. And I am, again, working on We Live in Hope. And I started this the first weekend in May because of the Brenda and the Serial Starter Blackbird Designs stitch along thing that they, that they set up that sounded like so much fun. And so I decided to participate. And I did. And then I continued to try and work on it for about a half hour each day for the rest of the week. I didn't quite make that. I think there were two days. Yeah, two days, I think, that I didn't. But this is the progress that I have made on it. Yes, I finished my border and my border mat. I always feel like such <sighs> relief and awesome and amazement when I stitch the whole border and it meets. But then I am doing that Greek key on the top and then I have started in on the alphabet. I am using the called for colors on a 40 count <laughs> lakeside linen. Sorry, the piece of paper that, that, that says what the fabric is is in here. Um, it's a lakeside linen um, in River Willow. That's the color I chose. I very much enjoyed that. I worked on it for a week, got some decent progress because, yeah, my border. And it met, and it met my border, and that. I'm very happy. I'm very excited about that. And then on Saturday I was supposed to pull out um, my next mania project because I'm doing only four and I'm working on them for a week and they're not new starts and I'm doing my own kind of mania because you yeah, know why not. Um, I was supposed to pull it out on Saturday but I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't stitch it all on Saturday I just was like eh. so I pulled it out on Sunday and what I'm working on this week is my visit Mordor piece by Country Magic Stitch and it is living in this this little spooky bag I don't know made sense to me 
and it's still in the cute snap because uh, I'm currently working on it still. And here is where I am with it. I am getting so close to a finish. So I finished all of the dark spots down here and I put in this light spot and then I started filling in this lighter gray. And that is what I have been doing yesterday and Sunday and will continue to do. So I have just this color, this lighter color to fill in all of this. And then I have the word Mordor and all of that fill in and then also obviously the word visit right there. And then I will have a finish. So that won't be happening this week. Very obviously that will not be happening this week. But I am, I am inching closer. I am hoping that I can finish all this fill in this week. That is my, that is my current goal. I'm not sure if I will make that this week, but we'll see. I have hope. So that is my cross stitch whips. I, I, uh, uh, now I will move on to my, my knitting in which I have a finish. Mm, kind of finish. I still need to weave all of the ends in and block it. But I did finish off my kushlig shawl or wrap. So here's my kushlig. Do do. Look at that. And this is this little teacup here is where I was at last time I filmed. So I have finished all the rest. And I'm very excited that it is finally done. I was starting to get kind of annoyed. I oh, no annoyed's too strong of a word. But I was just like, I I just want this finished now. I really just want this this finished. I want it done so that I can wash and block it because I'm kind of tired of working on multiple colors. Don't know why, but yeah. So I did this guy and this guy and that guy and those ones. And then the last, the, the 24th color I used on both corners. And as you can see, all the dangly ends. I have it, let's see, up to, this is where I stopped weaving in ends. So from here up, through the center. I need to weave in the ends. I weaved in all the uh, outside ends because they were in my way. So I need to wash and block this one and since it's garter it, I'm probably not going to stretch it out too much because I like the squishy. Uh, I, I like the super squishiness of garter but I'm going to pull it out a tiny bit to make it just a little whiter is my plan. So when I block it, I'm just going to kind of tug it a tiny bit, not just set it out, um, so that I can get a little more width on the project. And not too much though, because I like the squishiness of garter stitch. So that is my kushlig, which is off the needles. I guess that's a better way of saying it because it's not really finished because all of the ends are not woven in and I haven't blocked it. So it's off the needles and it's, oh, it's so squishy. Um, again, this one was done with the advent I had from Hugh Loco. It was her one pot wonder. And they weren't necessarily skeins that were supposed to go together because it was just kind of a hodgepodge of things. But I kind of liked that in this project. It's just chaos. <laughs> it's, it's an absolute chaotic piece. But I like that. So that was the only thing I finished with my stitching. Mm. That would be knitting, not stitching. Other than that, I um, have started a new work project. So that it can just be a simple pick up, put down project. And this is in the middle of a row. Because it's a work project and I put it down when I'm yeah. <laughs> and I just, I just, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's in the middle of a row. This is the beginnings of the half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho. So this is the, the first of two triangles. They stick together to make a giant wrap. Um, I'm doing the larger size. I am using the called for yarn which is their linen quill
<laughs> They're linen quill. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Sort of focus. It is a 50 cent fine Highland wool, 35 alpaca, 15% linen. And this is there. I think it's called salt and pepper. Yes, this one's called salt and pepper. So it's kind of this marled fun goodness. And the other half of this particular half and half shawl will be in black. And it's really simple. It's just garter stitch and short rows. Though casting on like 200 and billion stitches was not fun. But I had the right number with my first cast on try. My border met, my cast on stitch matched. I thought I was a rock star. I really did. And that's living in my matter root main bag. So yeah, I was feeling like an absolute rock star with, with all of that wonderful knitting working out and being accurate and being correct. And then, and then there was this. I decided that uh, I wanted to work on my Dallaray. Are we done? We're done. Yes, we're done. <laughs> right, back to what I was saying. I was gonna work on my Dallaray. It's this lovely cowl by uh, Brooklyn Tweed. Pretty cabled thing. They designed it for their Ranch 3 yarns that they just released earlier this year. And I wanted to do the tubular cast on because it's a cowl and it's ribbed down here and a tubular cast on and a tubular bite. It just looks so finished and pretty. And let me show you the progress. Oh, did I? Oh, yes, I, do. I did bring the progress. It's in my kitty's bag. Here's my progress. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just a, a wound up ball of, of, of Ranch 3 in Pluot. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So why don't I have any more progress? Because I did the entire bind on, cast on, the whole two by two, two be the cast on, in the round, all fancy fancy, and I joined it in the round, and I stitched a bit more, and then, because this is like 200 and something stitches, do do do. Okay, it's not even 200, it's like a, hundred, a little over 150 stitches as she stares at the floor because that's where the pattern is. So I did, you know, 150 odd, a little over, stitches in the round, two by the cast on, two by two. I stitch a little bit, and then, then, then I actually look at it and realize I twisted it. Yeah, I twisted the cast on. So I wasn't going to make a cow. It was, um, that's the third time I've cast on this project and messed it up each time. Mm -hmm. I can do a tubular cast on. I've done multiple ones. Yes, they're fiddly. Yeah, they're kind of a pain in the butt, but I love the way they look for certain projects. I just think that it looks nicer and much more finished. And so, three times. Three times Dallaray has, has failed for me. And so now, this project gets to live in the naughty corner because I'm done with it <laughs> for a while. I eventually will make this project because I really like the cowl. I love this yarn. I think a cabled cowl will look absolutely amazing with the Ranch 3 because it's nice and squishy and I think it'll have great stitch definition for the cable and all of that. But this has misbehaved one too many times and therefore this project in the naughty corner for a while. I mean, yeah, it's all my fault. It's not the pattern's fault. It's all me. But obviously, me and that pattern are not getting along right now, and so there needs to be a separation. Some, some time away from each other so we can both get our acts together so that when we next meet, things can be smooth and happy. Grump. So that was all my knitting. That was all my stitching. I uh, have done a couple, uh, I've done work on a couple of other projects, just not enough to show here. 
I have pulled out my Gansey afghan a couple of times and done some work work on it, but I just didn't feel like there was enough to show. I mean, it's just a giant gray blanket. So, it, and there's, so I, I need to do more on it before I show it on here again. And the other thing that I have been working on is my crochet blanket, which I'm not a crocheter, I'm trying, um, but I've been working on my crochet blanket and it um, also doesn't have enough progress for me to, to feel like I, I can show it. Hasn't, hasn't, it's so long. <laughs> it's so very wide that, that any progress this way takes forever because it's so wide. Not a crocheter. Oh, this looks like the, uh, it's very long. Sorry, wide. So that's, that's all I've been working on and it's uh, very exciting. For now though, I am going to pause because um, in my scramble to try to get things together and put them together, I have forgotten something. So, <laughs> it happens. So I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Right. I'm back. Um, plans. Plans. What are my plans? Obviously cross stitch wise. It will be working on Visit Mordor for the rest of this week. Um, Saturday, I will be switching to my third project for my Stitch Mania, and that is my Jane Reese, which hasn't been touched since the last time I showed it, so no sense to bring it on here. But that'll be my Jane Reese from the Scarlet Letter, and I will be working on that for a week, and I hope to get some decent progress done on there. Um, also, stitching wise, um, I have my Whip Go board that I'm not doing well on, but I lucked out. Oh, did I luck out? May's numbers that were called? I've already finished them. Yes! I think I said that last time that I, yes, I'm, I'm free. I can, I, that means I can go back in time and do, do April's goals, which I didn't touch. So, ha, oops. Um, so mainly, mainly um, for my stitching, I will be working just on, like I said, Visit Mordor and then starting Saturday, Jane Reese, and then yeah, uh, I'm forgetting what my last, I'm forgetting, oh goodness, I am completely forgetting what my last Stitch Mania planned work, planned whip is. Well, by the time I, I, I get to the point that I need it, I will, I will have my, my, um, calendar and I will figure it out because I wrote it all down because otherwise I'll forget because that's what I do. So knitting wise, what will I be working on knitting wise? Well, I have my work project, which is my half and half cowl. And then I think I'm going to go back and start working on my, on this sock, which is the, um, curling mists sock by Curie's Handmade. So I started this a while ago, don't remember, um, put it down because of Sock Madness, I believe. It could have been before that, but it might have been Sock Madness. And that's this one. So I'm going to get back to working on this so that I can finish that because I don't even have one sock done. So this isn't even like second sock syndrome. This is just lazy and, um, distraction and ooh squirrel because that that's how I roll ooh squirrel so I will be working on that and I have that in this nice little DPN cozy and then it is also living in my Hohi Locatelli bag I am stitching this in my woolen vine yarns Santa's little a vampire slayer which is a great name and I absolutely love it so, those are my knitting plans, those are my stitching plans, and I'm going to sneeze again. <sighs> okay, it's allergy season, people. It's allergy season. And uh, I spent all day yesterday sitting on the back porch. Was I stitching? No. Was I knitting? No. Was I reading? Oh, yeah. I read two books yesterday sitting on my porch. It was fabulous. I was in heaven. I loved it. It was great. Oh, I haven't done that in a while and it just felt so rejuvenating and oh, hmm. anyway. 
that's my stitching, that's my plans, that's my knitting, that's my plans, that's my shame drawer, that's all that. So what's next? Stash. Stash acquisitions. Of which I have some, because I'm a bad person. First, I bought, because <coughs> I keep knitting blankets and wanting to start new blankets and putting together yarn for blankets. I think I'm cold. <laughs> It makes no sense because I need to work on blankets for some reason. I'm very much enjoying them. But blankets are large and blankets take a lot of space and when you have all the yarn, you need a big bag. So I bought a new big bag with yamas. So I have this giant yama bag and it just amused me because they're just, they're just yamas. Happy yamas. Yep. I mean, I still have all the all the stuff attached. I didn't even bother taking it off. And then I just filled it full of my eventual, this is what this will become, my rainbow, my rainbow blanket, which I've had the yarn for it for ages. I haven't started it because I have enough blankets on the go, but I was tired of it being in the box that it was in because the box is harder to store than, than this, because this just kind of can be shoved in a corner. So eventually I will get to work on my rainbow blanket in a yama bag because yamas. I like a good yama. The other stuff is, um, well, my Nomadics Knits magazine showed up. This is their, what, issue nine, Iowa and Nebraska. I have all the issues of Nomadic Knits. I've been getting it since uh, their, I think I've been getting it since their third one came out and I went and bought the first two that had to come out. I very much enjoy their projects. I don't always want to knit everything in them, but I usually want to knit a few things. Oh, look at that, look at the photography. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. Isn't it stunning? Oh, anyhow, they, they run around and they, 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 they're just, they're fun to read, they're, they have articles and gorgeous photography and lovely knitting. Let me see if I can actually show you some of the knitting. It's all I'm finding is all the beautiful photos. I mean, I can't help it. The photos, they're gorgeous. But here, let's find some of the knitting. There was one in here. Okay, I, This isn't what something I wanna do, but when? When did leg warmers start coming back and why? I mean, it might, it might just be me, but why? 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 I do not understand leg warmers. They confuse me. They confuse me a lot. But then there's this lovely one, which is also on the back, which is just, I mean, color work on that back of that cardigan is just fun. What else do we have in here? My lovely hat. And you don't need to just sit here with me randomly looking through this magazine. But, oh, I liked this one. Don't like the color, but I love it. Anyhow, so this came, and like I said, I've been subscribed to this for, for ages, and I'm just going to keep getting it because I usually like at least two or three projects in it each time. Um, I don't always make them, but I usually like at least two or three projects. Um, oh, here's the front of that cardigan that I was talking about earlier. And that means I, I like to still get it. Um, if I start not seeing at least two or three projects in each magazine, I'll probably stop the subscription, but that hasn't happened yet. I also picked up the latest Lane magazine because <laughs> I don't always like all of the things in Lane, but this time it, it, it made it for me. Um, there were three projects that I wanted to make out of here. I think it was three. And I just thought she was adorable. I, mean, I think she's just, she's adorable. I absolutely loved her. But the cardigan that she was wearing, I want to make that. Oh, and I love this. Oh, sorry about that. I almost knocked over the camera. I don't know if I would ever make this sweater but look at that isn't it just gorgeous it is so art deco with the lines ah oh. but mm, talk about a knit that you can't make a mistake on Oof. 
that one that one would be very hmm, you have to be precise anyhow i've got that and of course of course of course i got 52 weeks of shawls of course i did i mean i had 52 weeks of socks which i have said i have net so i have net out of it and then I, I got this i flipped through it before i, I purchased it because i was like hmm let me see are, are, are there enough shawls in here that I like? Yeah, there were enough shawls in here that I liked. And so I picked this up and oh, I love their ma I love their books. They just, Lane does such a beautiful job of the photography and the layout. I mean, just some gorgeous things, absolutely gorgeous things. And with these books, I, I hate to say it, but with these books, they're so gorgeous. You could just leave them out like, like coffee table books. Their magazine's the same. Beautiful photos, absolutely lovely. So those were some of my, some of my purchases. And then two of my Yarny subscriptions came in. My Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Sock Squad, <laughs> for some reason that's hard for me to say, uh, came in. This is on their Bear Paw Sock, which is a 70 Merino 20 Yak 10 Nylon. And it is called Say Hello to My Little Friend. So look at that lovely teal green. Love it. My Macmillan's subscription came. This is the one that is based on art. I tried to find the, the postcard they send with it for that, the piece of art that they um, base the yarn on, which I usually show. I have no clue where I put it. So you only get to see the yarn and not the art. Sorry. So this is Degas Flowers and it's an 80-20 fingering weight, and it came with this. What I liked, um, I don't have the photo, so I can't show you the picture of the art, and it's very frustrating. This was all the flowers, and this was the woman. Um, this was what she was wearing, and so I liked that they kind of divided it up that way, and so you had this kind of really neat, <sighs> liked that. I also liked that they chose a Degas that wasn't one of his normal Degas. It wasn't one of his dancers. <laughs> It wasn't a woman bathing. It was it was one of the, more of his still lifey ish ones with flowers and a lady. And I thought that was really cool. I wish I could show it to you. The other thing I got, I bought with purpose, not just for fun. Well, also for fun. I bought some skeins of peace fleece in their DK weight. Um, my plan is to make a Walla Walla sweater. It is from the Washington version, or Washington edition. I don't know what number of the uh, Nomadic Knits magazine. And it's this lovely oversized shawl with a big grandpa collar that you would wear over things because it like goes down to like here. <laughs> it's, it goes over things. And I just thought um, they, they, they designed it. It's knit in a, a fun tweedy color, or like lots of tweedy bits and nips, nups, not nips, nups in it and all of that stuff but I thought a nice squishy gray. <clears throat> um, so I bought some peace fleece for that and I absolutely love the, it's, it's, yes, it's a little more rustic. I'm wearing, I'm, I'm using this as an outer garment, so it's fine. I'm gonna be wearing it over stuff. So it doesn't have to be next to skin soft, but honestly, I, I'm not one of these people that, that have a problem with wool. So I know I'm really lucky that way. I know some people, they, if it's not super soft and it's not high-end merino and it's not ah uh, they can't have it on their skin i mean i can put this right on my neck and i'm like yeah okay yeah sure there might be a little prickle but it ain't gonna bother me any and it's not a sweater that's gonna be st st sitting like around my neck but i'm lucky i can i can wear some more rusticy woolly woolly wools so yes i have my my skeins of peace least to do that project when am i gonna start i don't know when i'm gonna start it which is not good. Um, that is, yes, all of my, all of my acquisitions. Um, I have instituted a rule again. I think I might have mentioned this last time for work where uh, I'm not allowed to buy anything unless I, um, one, have a plan for it. Hmm, I will buy these skeins of yarn to make this exact project and I'm going to start it soon. That way I can work in a yarn store and not continue to live in a yarn store. Ooh, live in a yarn store. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, you could, oh that'd be great. Anyway. So, 
yeah, now we're just on to, I don't know, chit chat. So if you want to stay to hear the chit chat, please feel free. Enjoy. It won't be long. If you are uninterested, I hope you enjoyed seeing the pretties and hanging out for a little bit, and I will see you next time. But those who want to stay and hear what I've been doing, well, I haven't been doing much. <laughs> Uh, last time I filmed, the next day I was going and getting my second um, COVID shot, and I did. Uh, oh boy, that knocked me out again. Running a fever, felt like, oh, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. Oh, man. I am, hmm, I'm glad I have them both. Uh, starting tomorrow, it will be two weeks past my, my shot, and so I'm considered fully vaccinated. And I love that. It, not anything's going to change in my life, not really. Um, I'm hoping I can go visit my mother, but other than that, um, she lives close. I could just drive, drive down to see her. But now that I'm fully vaccinated and she's fully vaccinated, I'd, I'd like to go hang out with her for a little bit, see how she's been doing for the last long while. Um, but yeah, the shot knocked me on my butt again. It was not fun. I hated it. Um, my bones didn't hurt this time, but. Uh, Fever and yuck and oof. Fever dreams. Fever dreams, people. Do you hate fever dreams? I hate fever dreams. I hate them. I hate them a lot. They're terrible. They're awful. But mm, fever dreams, they are a thing. And not a fun thing. Other than that, work? Horrible traffic? Hmm, yeah, horrible traffic. Trying to get to work on Friday this week? That was fun. No, not fun at all. You see, all lanes of I-5 North were blocked because of semis hitting each other. Yeah, huge wreck, huge bad wreck. One semi was full of fish. One semi was full of milk and cream. So cats of the land rejoiced that these two semis crashed into each other making a ginormous mess of fish and milk and cream. Which may be great for cats, but really bad for traffic. Evidently, milk is slick and you can't just hose it off the freeway because it's really bad for um, fish. So they had to clean it up like very carefully and all of that. And, oh, it's evidently super, super slick, so it was bad for cars, bad for driving. It was a nightmare. Things were backed up for ever. I, I have a, um, a traffic app that I use. So when I saw the, oh, five lanes of I-5 North are blocked, I'm like, well, I'm going to get off this road so I don't end up on I-5. I'll find another way to work. And oh man, did that app take me some crazy places that I have never seen. And I've lived here for a long time. I was all over the place driving around, but I was only I was only a slight bit late for work. I did make it in though. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, no one in the semis was hurt from what I understand, so that was good. Uh, yeah, not fun, not fun. Would not, would not suggest that the cats of the land should be so happy with fish and milk and cream. That maybe, maybe we shouldn't do that again. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, work. Reading, oh, reading books. Oh yeah. I read, like I said, I read two books yesterday. One was um, House of Hollow, which um, was interesting. I, I liked the cover and so, hey, Kindle, hmm, I'll buy that. And yeah, that was an interesting gothic fairy tale in modern times ish I found it interesting I enjoyed it um it was fluff it was easy to read it didn't take I mean obviously I read two books yesterday it didn't take long um I enjoyed it it kind of did what I expected but um the descriptions were really fantastic I, en I enjoyed the author's way of f turn of phrase and it was very goth and that was pretty awesome. The other book I read was When Alice Fell, and it was meh. It was all right. Uh, yeah, nothing to write home about. Pretty, I don't know. 
expected, nothing surprised me. Um, they, they tried to, ooh, twist, turn, ooh, and I'm like, yeah, saw that coming. Whatevs. Um, what else have I done? Not much. I'm pretty boring when it comes to my life. I mean, you're here for the knitting and the stitching anyway, so, you know, who cares what I'm doing, right? Oh, I have bought um, two advent calendars for the year. Um, one was, uh, they're obviously not here, but they technically would go in purchases, I guess. Um, but I've bought two. I think I'm going to stick to just those two. Um, and obviously they won't be here until like November because <laughs> it's an advent calendar. Uh, one was McMillan Fibers. Um, their advent calendar, which is all based on um, the covers of classic literature books from I'm not sure what publisher. But I'm like, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Purchase. And the other one is um, from Earl Grey Fiber Company. I enjoyed their last year, their last year one. And she was kind of sounding like she wasn't going to do it again and then she released something on Instagram where she was like I have a lot of minis I overbought them last year so I'll just I'll just I'll do enough that um I can get these minis done I'll, I'll make enough advent calendars for that and then I don't know if she's going to do it again uh sounded like she really burnt out on making them last year and that's sad and I'd rather people didn't burn out because that's not any good at all. I enjoy advent calendars, but if it's going to burn you out, save yourselves, Dyer, save yourselves, <laughs> please. Um, but since she was offering them up and only as many as she can make with what she has on hand, I guess, um, I, I jumped on that and purchased one of those as well. Um, I think she's calling it her counting down the days calendar instead of an advent calendar and I kind of liked that because hmm, it looked interesting. So uh, yeah, Earl Grey Fiber Arts, mm, Earl Grey Fiber Company, and McMullen Fiber Arts. There we go. If you just smash the names together, you create your own yarn, right? Mm, uh, no, not how that works. Earl Grey Fiber Company, McMullen Fiber Arts. And I think I'm just going to stick with those two. I, I've seen some other ones out there, um, and I'm trying. I don't want to have four this year. <laughs> I don't. I was rather embarrassed that I had four last year because um, I forgot that I bought one of them. So I, I thought I only had three. This year I think I only have two unless I forgot I bought already. I don't think I forgot I bought one. I really hope I haven't. I mean, Canon Hand Dyes does hers so early in the year. I don't think I bought a Canon Hand Dyes already. Anyhow. We'll find out in November, won't we? And I'm, even though I'm working, I am still planning on doing all that in November or in December. I hope, maybe, we'll see. Time's a thing. Um, with that, however, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to stop filming. My, I, I, I got this finished before my son got home, so hooray, he's still out climbing. I'm going to clean all this up. I am going to edit and start uploading it for it to come up tomorrow and then I am going to take my curling mist socks and I'm going to take a nice large cup of water and I'm going to go sit on my deck and stitch for the rest of the day. Doesn't that sound like a plan? I think so. You guys should come join me sometime. I've got plenty of room. You should come and join me. Bring your knitting, bring your stitching. It'll be great. We can hang out there, chit chat, drink tea. You should come visit. Be great. All right. Until two weeks from now, which is still May, but I don't know what day because that would involve looking at a calendar. I'm really bad at that. Um, I hope you all enjoy May. You have all your borders meet like mine. Oh, and all your stitch counts be accurate. Oh, man, that was so beautiful. And then everything fell apart with a cast. Mm -mm. Yeah, two out of three is not bad, right? Until, until later all, thank you so much for coming and visiting with me. I do so enjoy your company. Have a great day. Bye-bye.
Did I forget something? No, I didn't. No. Yeah, if I did, I'll tell you in two weeks. Have a wonderful two weeks. Bye, all.